all my crafty friends and welcome back to Designs by Gaddis. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad you found my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. By doing so, you will help others just like yourself be able to find my home decor DIY videos. I love decorating tiered trays. They have become a huge decor piece in homes. I am trying to create some new items for my Valentine's Day tiered tray. So I decided since I had some leftover Dollar Tree foam dice, I would make a couple of cute little marshmallows for my tiered tray this Valentine's season. I purchased a cute face bundle from Design Bundles for this project. Just look at some of these cute little faces that were in this bundle. I will leave a link in the description for the bundle I used. To get started, I opened up Design Space and added a square the size of one side of the foam dice. I then clicked on Upload File, Upload File again, and then drove the image I wanted from the folder to Design Space. I added the image to my design and sized it to fit on the foam dice. I did the same thing for the other design I wanted to use. I held down shift and clicked on all the black areas of the first design. Then I clicked weld. I did the same with the pink areas and then I grouped the welded images together. By doing this, you have welded the parts together, which means when you cut the image, the pieces will be together instead of spread all over the mat. I did the exact same thing with the second design. I then hid both the hearts and the square by clicking the eye beside them. I sent the file to my Cricut. As you can see, the cuts are pretty small. I was able to use a scrap piece of black vinyl and also a scrap piece of pink vinyl for this project. This is how I laid the vinyl out on the mat. I matched it up in Design Space and then sent the file to my Cricut to be cut. After the vinyl was cut, I flipped the mat over and removed both the black and pink vinyl. I trimmed both and weeded them. To cover the foam dice, I used three Dollar Tree white balloons on each dice. I cut the neck off of the balloon and stretched them over the dice. I wanted the marshmallows to have cute little hats. I used some Dollar Tree felt, folded it in the middle, and cut it in half. I wrapped it around the dice and trimmed it. On one of them, I folded and hot glued the felt to make it look like it was rolled up. I then hot glued the felt to the dice and ran the glue down the hat to close it up. I then used a piece of string to tie to the top of the hat. I then transferred the face to transfer paper and put the vinyl on the dice to create the adorable marshmallow. On the second one, I decided to not make the fold so I just hot glued the felt and trimmed it. I used another piece of string to tie the hat. I decided to let the top of the hat lean to one side and used hot glue to hold it in place. I then applied the face the same way I had to the first one. These are the cutest little marshmallows I have ever seen. They look amazing on my tiara. If you tray. haven't already, go ahead I and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Just look I at upload how weekly home decor are. DIY videos, and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!